Hi everyone, welcome to this WBZ web update. I'm Ken McLeod and here are some of the stories making news right now. A 15 year old Boston boy has died in a skiing accident at Pat's Peak. That's a ski area in New Hampshire. It happened around 630 Saturday evening on the Duster ski trail. The ski patrol responded and took the teen to a waiting ambulance. He was taken to a Concord hospital where he later died. Two people are dead, a man and a woman, following an early morning fire in Dennis. Firefighters were called to a home on Niblick Street at about 7 a.m. Investigators say there were no working smoke detectors in the house. A dog also perished in the blaze. Dennis Fire Chief Robert Brown is urging people to check their smoke detectors regularly. Massachusetts State Police have recovered a rifle that was stolen from a marked cruiser in Malden last week. They didn't reveal much information, saying only that the gun was found in the greater Boston area. But sources tell the WBZI team that the rifle was found in Malden and at least one juvenile is involved. No word yet on any arrests. Let's get a check on the forecast now after a pretty decent Sunday overall. Meteorologist Sarah Robleski joins us now. She's got more on where we go from here. We had really great conditions today. A little bit breezy, but temperatures climbed into the upper 50s to even lower 60s out there. And we do have some unsettled weather heading our way, but not tonight. Temperatures under mainly clear skies will fall back into the 30s, perhaps 20s to the north and west. And we start off our day tomorrow with sunshine. We'll climb once again into the 50s, but increase the clouds and what we'll be watching for is our next chance of some showers. Doesn't look to amount to too much, but there could be some areas that pick up anywhere from a tenth up to about three quarter, uh, up to about a half an inch of rain. And it does look as though it will move in towards the later stages of your Monday. Noticing here dry through the evening commute, but just to the west showers begin to push on in and across the higher terrain as we will be watching closely. There could be a bit of a mix, especially to the north and west where we could pick up on some some accumulations. Now, as you head down to the south, you're probably seeing this mix too. Unlikely to really accumulate or have much of an impact. Although if the rain does come down heavy enough, you could see a few snowflakes mixing on in. So we'll go with some patchy coatings across the higher terrain, but by Tuesday morning, a lingering shower, and then we're looking for slight improvement. The reason why I say slight is we still have enough energy spinning around that a pop up shower in the afternoon can't be ruled out. Those winds out of the northwest, though, will bring down our temperatures a bit. And while we'll be watching for that system to push away, Wednesday looks OK. Another front heads our way late Wednesday into Thursday and then late Friday into the weekend. Yet another system to impact our area. So as we go through time here, that's that first wave that moves through Monday night into Tuesday. High pressure builds on in for our Wednesday and there's that frontal boundary sort of losing its steam as it comes through Thursday morning. High pressure builds on in, so we'll We'll see plenty of dry times as we take a look at the next seven day forecast, but just don't be surprised for a passing shower or two. Steadiest overnight Monday into Tuesday, and then again, we'll watch for that front for Thursday. May drop our temperatures back into the 40s uh, for the Red Sox home opener, and then by Friday into the weekend, temperatures rebound again, tracking some showers late Friday. Saturday does look as though uh, we do clear and dry out, but drop in temperatures for the second half of the weekend. Up and down, Ken. Got to get opening day in. All right, Sarah, thanks. That is a check on your top stories from CBSBoston.com. We hope you have a great night, and we'll see you next time.